Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you remember, in one of our previous videos, we played a game. For those who have missed it, here we go again. Peugeot is a French automobile manufacturer. Now, we will list down certain car models manufactured by Peugeot. The first model is the Peugeot 403, which was manufactured between the years 1955 and 1966. This was the first Peugeot car model to exceed the 1 million production mark. The next model is the Peugeot 404. This family car was manufactured from 1960 to 1975. The next one is the Peugeot 504. It was noted for its robust body structure and long suspension travel. The last one is the Peugeot 505. It's also a family car produced between 1979 and 1995. Now, you guys will have to guess what is common between them in the comment section below. Apart from the manufacturer, there is something else which is common between them. If you haven't guessed, then the common thing between these cars is the torque tube drive. In one of our previous video, we discussed a similar arrangement called the Hotchkiss drive, for which the link is in the description below. The Hotchkiss drive was introduced to withstand both the thrust and torque reaction on the differential housing. In today's video, we'll be talking about the next type of arrangement, the torque tube drive. It was often used in vehicles which are front engine and rear wheel drive. In this type, the propeller shaft is enclosed inside a hollow tube known as the torque tube. The purpose of this tube is to hold the rear transmission in its place during acceleration and braking. In case the tube is eliminated, the torque acting would lift up the axle casing during acceleration and sink down during braking. The Hotchkiss drive is much more widespread than the torque tube in automobiles. Now, let's see the construction of the torque tube drive. The rear end of the hollow tube is rigidly connected to the differential housing and the front end of the hollow tube is connected to the gearbox casing. Unlike the Hotchkiss drive, there are no sliding joints and only one universal joint is used. The gear shaft and the propeller shaft are connected with the help of a universal joint inside the hollow tube in a ball and socket arrangement. Next is the suspension system. We know that all the load acts on the suspension system of a vehicle. But unlike the Hotchkiss drive, the suspension here takes only the side thrust besides supporting the body weight, whereas the torque reaction, driving thrust and the braking torque are taken up by the torque tube. When a leaf spring setup is used in the torque tube drive, both ends of the leaf spring are connected to the frame with shackles. Helical or torsion springs can also be used in this arrangement, but they are not attached with shackles. When compared to the Hotchkiss drive, the propeller shaft in the torque tube drive does not bend or change its length. So that's it for this video guys. See you in the next one. Until then, bye.